Hey guys, Dan, the Wolfman from ProMMANow.com with Uncle Creepy himself, Ian McCall. How's it going? Very good. How are you? Good. How is training? You're fighting in just like two weeks now, February 2nd, UFC against Joseph Benavides. Uh, training's going great. You know, I am in uh, very good, very good shape. I'm about 10 pounds lighter than I was in last camp. Last camp I had some... Uh, last camp was probably the worst camp I've ever had physically. Uh, and this is probably one of the worst mental camps I've ever had, but, but I'm in great shape, you know. And Carla Esparza told me you were looking great. She told me that a couple of days ago. I'm, I'm on point in the gym. You know, my life's a fucking mess outside of the gym, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, that's whatever. Um, it's usually like that. Uh, I'm on point, man. My weight's good. I got my speed back, my footwork, all the stuff that, that brought me to this point. I got it back. You know, I, I kind of lost that fight in the And do you think the speed and the footwork is going to be – and Benavidez is a heavy right-hand puncher, wrestler. I mean, that's his style. So do you think – Moving, basically moving, controlling distance is the key to the fight. Yeah, and, and unlike, well, I don't want to say unlike, but but you know, Demetrius moves so much, and I think when I am on point and I am using my speed like I should, I'm I'm just as fast, maybe a little tick slower. I think in the pocket I'm just as fast. Mm -hmm. He might move out on the outside a little better, um, but to get in and out of that pocket, I think I'm just as quick, and I think I hit a lot harder, and I'm a little a lot more dangerous in that area. So. Uh, it's pretty simple. You look what he did to Joe, uh, and he did the same thing to me for the most part. I and mean, just employed the same kind of plan, but mm -hmm. make it a lot more violent and more. And you feel your weight's like, down now more, so you're going to have better movement, better speed. You feel healthy. Your energy is probably better. Cardio is yeah, better. Yeah, energy is better. And, you know, I, 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 I man, I, I gained 25, 26 pounds by like 11 o'clock after weigh ins. Holy crap. So I, I just got too big. I mean, I, I was. Just physically, I was a mess last time, um, and you know, it, obviously my own fault. I it just wasn't on point. Especially at the lower weight class, do you think that you know? Hopefully, he won't be able to overpower you at all because you guys are so scrambly that the speed is actually more important than the power factor. Uh, I know I'm. I've got to be the strongest guy at my weight. I've never felt anybody stronger. Um, you know, uh, I know Joe is strong, uh, and, and that, that's not really something that ever comes to mind because I'm never worried about it. Um, uh, you know, positioning is always a big thing, and scrambling is is, is going to be going to be huge because all those alpha male guys like backpacks. You know, they want to scramble, 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 and I like doing it too. So, uh, if it factors in, it'll, it'll add a good excitement, fact, you know, a piece to the fight. But I think me and him, we're going to keep it on the feet and, and you know, try and put him out there. You got you got quite a bu bunch of followers. Like, uh, how did this happen? The the Uncle Creepy U C. Was it UCGTT top team or something? What is this? The UGCTT is the underground creepy top team on uh, MMA.TV. The UG is the greatest forum in all of sports. And, uh, you know, I, I've been on there since 2002, and I just always talk, and those are my guys. You know, those are my diehard, crazy fans that probably know more about me than I can remember. You know, like, I, there's certain stuff that I'm like, I did that? Like, wow. Um, and I know they, they mess with you quite a bit, so you guys, please stop giving him shit because he's a good guy. I mean, yeah, come on. I bring you a lot of content. Whether you like it or not, you click on the thread, you know, appreciate it. Yeah, you know, so give, him, give him a break. And they're driving everyone else off that really doesn't deserve to get driven off. Like Yeah, other fighters try. Shane Carwin. you guys like that. They, 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 I know they're trying to rip off my style. I get it, but let's give him a little bit of a break because I, I like having my – cult following and because they're vicious and they're rude and they're just hilarious you know to other people but at the same time you know we, we can be a little nicer to people sometimes sometimes the mayhem monkeys have kind of dropped off recently but do you think your crew could have taken out their crew like in the in the underground basement fan base that's out there you, you think oh it would be swift it would be swift and quickly i mean we would just mayhem monkeys that was like a cheap rip off of of fight club and now that i i was saying it was pretty cheap Mayhem, I didn't say that. That's him. Okay. Yeah, Jason's my friend, but I'm just saying. It was, it was a, I don't know. It didn't work out so well. So, uh, you know, basically between you and Car Carly Spires, I just won her title. And so bit. proud of her. You think Team Oyama now got something for your mama again? They're back on top yes. again? You, you know, happening? we have gone basically 4-0. Four, uh, four oh, well, 3-0, oh, oh, 3 and one. So I got half a win for my team <laughs> last year. I'm miserable. You know, our, everyone on our team just sucked last year. Um, Carla started off the year right. She got it. She got that belt. She didn't look like I thought she would look. I thought she would rip through Beck Hyatt like pretty bad, but she didn't, you know. But she still won, whatever. Um, but it's just setting the stage for this is going to be our year. I'll become champion this year. Um, you know, um, Shane's just getting better and better, and you know, he he just last fight was garbage again.
Um, but, you know, I, I think this is our year. I think we're going to prove, you know, and even on our kickboxing side, you know, Romeo Donz is coming back up after his disappointing loss, and I think that we're going to do some really good things. Do you think your fight's going to be so exciting that the fans are going to get into it? Or some, sometimes the fans have booed pretty exciting fights just because, you know, they, they don't appreciate the lighter weights. It's me and Joe. No one likes Demetrius because he's, he's got the, the personality of cheese, you know. Um, and I like him on a personal level. Literally, the guy's way nicer than me, like, on a personal note. Like, he's super cool, but he just doesn't translate well. And Dotson is annoying. And another guy that I like, you know, I can hang out with him, but he just kind of comes off annoying. So um, that's why people don't like them. That's what I, the conclusion I've come to. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I suck. I don't know. But at least people like me and Joe, and people are going to watch us beat the crap out of each other. And we both we'll come to fight. We don't come to just win. We're coming to hurt each other. And, and he's a, I consider Joe a friend, but I, then again... I beat my friends up on a daily basis, yeah. and they beat me up, so I don't have any problem punching people for, you know, who I like in the face. All right. Anything you want to plug, websites, Twitter? Uh, my website, UncleCreepyMMA.com. My Twitter is at UncleCreepyMMA, um, Instagram, Snapchat. Just look up UncleCreepyMMA. I'm all over the place. All right, guys, for ProMMAnow.com and The Underground, I'm Dan the Wolfman signing out.